And joining me now to discuss all of this is CBS News Chief Washington Correspondent and host of Face the Nation, John Dickerson. John, thanks for being with us. Sure thing, Jessica. Good to be with you. There's a lot of news breaking this afternoon. The New York Times says Trump reportedly called the former FBI director Jim Comey a nut job and told the Russians the firing east pressure on him. And in the meantime, the Washington Post is saying the Russia investigation has identified a White House advisor as a significant person of interest. So I'm curious uh, your take on the status report in Washington right now this afternoon. Well, and there's even one more report from McClatchy newspaper saying that Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein told members of Congress uh, yesterday and today that the investigation now includes a third piece, uh, which is the cover-up piece, and that would be based on uh, former Director Comey's report that President Trump had tried to get him to stop the investigation into Michael Flynn. So if cover-up cover is now a part of the investigation uh, and has been for several weeks, that puts Comey's firing into an interesting uh, new light. These are uh, big revelations, and they are not necessarily being uh, knocked back by the White House. The one about a senior uh, official in the White House being under investigation, which we know from the Post because uh, members, senior members of the uh, congressional leadership have been briefed by the, White, by the uh, FBI on that part of the investigation. Um, the White House hasn't uh, responded to that, but on these uh, comments by the president, the idea that the pressure was taken off when he fired James Comey and that he told the Russians this. First, that's kind of extraordinary uh, to use the language he did with the Russians about a former U.S. official. But then secondarily, it adds another piece of evidence for those who want to see an obstruction of justice here because it suggests the president, in his own voice, said the pressure from the investigation was off as a result of his firing Comey, who was leading the investigation. Uh, that gets you a little further down the road on the question of whether the firing was done to impede the investigation. And so all of this coming together as you all prepare for the show on Sunday, what can we expect on Sunday? Well, what we're really going to try to do, we're going to talk to Dianne Feinstein, who is the ranking Democrat on the Judici Judiciary Committee. Uh, and then we're also going to talk to Marco Rubio, who's on the Intelligence Committee. And basically what we want to do, along with our, our uh, correspondents here, is separate what's kind of the hysteria from what's real here. So when people say, talk about something like obstruction of justice, what does that actually mean? Is that something uh, Robert Mueller, the new special counsel, is going to be looking at? And then what is he going to specifically be looking for? There's a lot of kind of uh, talk that gets thrown around, and we want to try and get as specific as possible about what is actually known and what is just speculation. And uh, if we can do that, we'll be pretty happy. All right, we'll be looking forward to that. You all are so good at getting to the facts and explaining everything. John, thank you so much. And for more on all that we discussed, you can catch Face the Nation this Sunday morning at 1030. Plenty to talk about. It's happening right here on CBS3.